ES1000 industrial heater is simple to operate and service. Today, I'll show you the easy startup and shutdown procedures, explain the functions of the three beacon indicator light, then talk about the duct attachments and easy access serviceability. Let's begin. To start up the ES1000, first ensure the unit is level side to side with a forward tilt and check that all circuit breakers are in the off position. Begin the startup procedure by turning the DC disconnect switch to on, then push the auto button on the control unit. Next, push the manual start button to start the generator set. Let the generator warm up no load for three to five minutes, then flip the circuit breakers to the on position. Switch either one or both burners to manual or thermostat. Within 90 seconds, the burners complete their safety cycles and ignite. When the fans start a few seconds later, you'll be up and running. Now the ES1000 shutdown procedure. First, shut down the burners by moving their control switches to the off position. Allow the blower fan to run for up to five minutes to cool the burners. Turn off the generator by pushing the off button on the control unit and return all breakers to the off position. The ES1000's three beacon light saves time by giving operators at a glance alerts to changing conditions within the unit. The green light indicates that generator set is running normally. The red light indicates that a burner is not producing heat. And the yellow light indicates a low fuel level. The ES1000 has two 12 inch outlet ducts and one 20 inch inlet duct for each flagro heater. Attaching and detaching ductwork is easily accomplished using the built-in quick-release toggle clamps. The design of the ES1000 makes oil, air, and fuel filter servicing simple. The 160% secondary fluid containment tank contains accidental spills and is easy to drain. Please contact your local ESR sales representative or visit the ES1000 support page on our website for more details.